Hello and welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is this is day 15. I started to say episode 15. This is day 15 of Vlogmas. So before we open our fiber for today, we have a little project. This is a winter coat. It's a double-breasted winter coat. It's all wool. I bought this secondhand last year for six dollars. Yes, six dollars. However, the sleeves were a little short. I think it was maybe a petite. So I let the sleeves out, but they're still a little too short. They come about like this on my wrist instead of down where they should be. So today I'm going to show you how I took my sleeves that look like this and turned them in to this. I attached faux fur to give me the extra, the extra length that I needed so I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you how I did that. So the items you are going to need in order to do this are some faux fur. I have some left from the first sleeve. So I am using some from Timu. Uh, it's hand knitting yarn. I have no idea what the yardage is. It's extremely soft. feels like rabbit fur, um, but it's not. It's fake fur. So you need some kind. You can buy them in most big box stores. Um, like Walmart and things, but you just need some faux fur. You're going to need a crochet hook. Uh, the one that I am using for this is a five millimeter, which is also a size uh, H. So I'm using that. You will need a large needle with a, um, a big enough eye that you can get embroidery floss of the color of your outfit that you are doing. You'll need some of that and of course some scissors. So let's get started. The first thing you are going to do, you need to be able to attach the fur to something. So if you can see real closely, I have done, it looks like a chain stitch. I think in, in embroidery this is called a chain stitch or daisy chain. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I have a little bit left that needs to be done. And you can do this on any garment. It doesn't have to be a heavy coat. You could even do it like on a, on a dress or something like that, but you're going to use the same technique. So you're going to go through. You don't want to go all the way through if you've got like lining. So I don't want it to go all the way through there. And Go through and up. This is my very first stitch, so it'll look a little different from the with, compared to the remaining stitches. So we'll just get it started. Okay, so there's my first stitch. You want to keep them relatively close together, uh, big enough for your crochet hook to go through, but not um, too loosely. Otherwise, you will sh it'll show up like your you'll have your fur with a hole along the edge here. So that's why I've come in a little ways. I haven't done it right on the edge. Come in just to give it a little bit more structure and um, it will pull up some, but that way you've got a little bit of backing, something to grab onto, and you're not going to have like holes show in here. So the stitch that you're going to do, I'm moving this up so you can see it real close. You're going to go through here. This is maybe maybe about a quarter of an inch and then I pick back up right here, right here and then I take this thread because it's double strand. I do have it double stranded. I didn't say that but it's double stranded and you go right up through the two strands. So I'll do it a few more times so you can see it. Okay, we will do this stitch again. So you can see that my yarn is double stranded and I actually thread it so that the two ends are joined here and the loop is at the tail end here. So I'm going to make sure this is separated. If you hear noise in the background, the lawn people are doing the, they're sucking up the leaves with a sucky-uppy thing, so that's what that noise is in the background. 
So you separate here, and then you go in, and just about halfway down, down the stitch. So I'm going about a quarter of a, an inch, and then I go back up an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to pull it like that, and that forms that chain. So we'll do it a few more times. go out about a quarter of an inch pick up about halfway back on that stitch keeping on each side of that so that when you pull it it again forms the chain so you're going to go all the way around the sleeve or the neckline so if you want to pause your uh, pause the video and do that then we will come back for the next step So I've now gone all the way around and I'm going to take the edge of my faux fur and I'm going to make just a slip knot. Like that. And then I'm going to go underneath the loops here. Like that. Put the slip knot on. Make sure it's fairly snug. Pull it through and chain one and then I'm going to go into the next spot right here and I, I try to incorporate this little tail as I go so that I don't have to weave any ends in at the end and you're going to again pull it through, do a single crochet, and you are going to do a single crochet all the way around and all continuing rounds after that. At this point, things get pretty simple. You can make this as long or as short as you would like it to be, but you do want to make sure you do it only in single crochet because if you do double crochet, you might have, um, it just won't be as dense. You might end up with some little holes in it. So again, you're gonna work your way all the way around going through these little stitches that you made and doing a single crochet. And then all following rows after that, you just keep going around and around in single crochet until you get it to the uh, width or length that you want your sleeve to be. But you can also do this on collars or anything else. Um, you just want to make sure you have a good, stable foundation to attach the stitches to. So that is our tutorial for attaching fur. So today is day 15, like I said, and we're going to look at our fiber for today. Here's day 15, and here is the lighthouse for the day and the fiber for today are two shades yeah they're not identical two shades of like a tealy turquoisey color so there's a light and a dark so those are the two fibers now let's check out the mini skein for today here we go Oh, it's another fall color. I had a couple other ones that were fall colors, but this is a more muted color. There you can see it. Very pretty. So that is it for day 15 of Vlogmas. Now tomorrow will be Saturday, so make sure you come back for our regular Saturday video. Plus we will be opening the fiber for day 16 as well. So thanks all for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.